Yo, welcome back everybody. It is your boy Bursity back here and today we are here for part number five of our SH Fake Worth Macari hunts. And I am very interested to talk about this one today. Uh, it is a third party figure, demoniacal fit, Majin Vegeta. And I have to say, I am Looking forward to seeing what else is in here and looking forward just to overall see how the figure is itself. I told myself, and I actually was talking to a friend about this like not too long ago, that this particular Vegeta, I'm not a fan like of this torso or upper body for the most part, just because I feel like my man was kind of buffing out like when he was going Super Saiyan 2 as Majin Vegeta. Like he, he's got the swole arms and you can tell, but like the, the torso, I feel like it could be a little bit thicker, uh, a little bit more muscular, you know what I'm saying? Which is kind of why um, these particular heads that are on here, I think I want to use on the new Dragon Ball Super superhero body uh, for Vegeta, just because I think it just looks so much better in my opinion. And there's been pictures on Instagram of people doing that already, and I actually love it. So you might not agree with my opinion on that, but I just think that it overall looks better. Let's put you down here, Majin Vegeta. He comes with food meat and i think this is the spoon that's pretty cool all right so first things first we always got to do it articulation test any anything super loose i hear a little shaking but i don't think that's the actual you know limbs moving or anything it might be some something inside um but the actual figure itself is very stable nothing nothing loose and I, I gotta say the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship, oh my gosh. Craftsmanship of this, insane. Cause who would have thought like you'd be able to like fully kind of just recreate what the officials are doing like that. Uh, and even do it better in most cases, right? Cause there's a lot to talk about that. Demoniacal Fit does some very interesting ones. Uh, like they did the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku before Tamashi did it. And Tamashi actually ended up Basically doing the same thing, but with a blue red tint over it, which I'll be honest, not a fan of. Um, it came with an event exclusive stand or whatever too. Aura effect, which is cool. That's cool. But I, it's interesting to see that, you know, Demoniac was able to beat them before they got it. But anyways, let me um, look at some of these other accessories here. All right, so first things first, we got a plate of food. I'm not sure, this is rice for sure. I don't know if that's like curry or something, but that's cool. I don't know what else, like if this is something that the um, the food set that comes, that you can get like on Big Bad Toy Store and stuff. I don't know if this is one of those things that already comes there, if this is like a new one entirely that they just made themselves. Either way, that's cool. Him holding some, some meat, stuff in his face, and important, you get the spoon, him holding the spoon. The spoon is very like wiggly. It's very fragile, very thin. So if you're gonna use it, uh, make sure it's not getting like overwhelmed, I guess, with other things around it. And of course, we'll just take a look at this Vegeta just having a chow down moment. Absolutely funny. Hopefully that fits on some of the other actual official SH figure arts because I've seen some other videos of people trying to like, you know, put the heads on different figures, unofficial or official, and it just being like very hard to get in there, uh, no pun intended, but yeah. Just kind of going over what, what I like about it, what's cool about it, uh, the official like Makari review. Um, and if I didn't say it already, it's from One Hero Goku on Makari. I don't know what else they're selling, if it's any SH Fake Words things related, but Keep on the lookout for that in case you are interested in looking for stuff. Let's not take a look at these faces here. I'm not gonna put them on him though. We'll just kind of zoom in here. So, got laughing, grit teeth, uh, unhappy, depressed Vegeta, <laughs> uh, and the smirk slash, well, smirk with the mouth open. Anyways, in honor of trying to keep these videos shorter, I'll leave it here and basically I, I like it. It represents SH Figure Arts in a way that, you know, maybe they can't do sometimes. I don't know. I like the, you know, free accessories. You know, they didn't have to add these in here. These have like no relevance, I guess, to really him as Majin Vegeta right now. So for them to give you those extra pieces in there is actually really cool. Um, and just the way that the body looks, it just, again, I have personal problems with this overall. Official or unofficial, I don't like like super thin Vegeta right there. But I do like that they are able to recreate it 
seamlessly. That's that's the key part, seamlessly. I do have two more Demon Eagle fit figures coming, so stay tuned for that. I am very interested to see how those uh, work as well. Um, this articulation is pretty good, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'll probably keep him in a pretty stable spot though. Uh, it's not really a need for him to be superposed right now because I don't have any other Boo Saga characters. I'm working on trying to find a super Boo, but no luck. But anyways, again, appreciate you guys showing up. One Hero Goku on Makari, five out of five. Everything is here, everything is stellar, new box or not, I love it. And I, again, can't wait to get to a closer time to be able to show you all the ones that I've amassed so far, along with some other stuff like uh, Funko Pops, uh, the other Marvel Legends stuff I want to talk about, Mayfix. There's a lot. Van Presto, Figma, the list can go on. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys again for supporting the channel and all the new things coming. And yeah, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.